Hello, my name is Nikita, and this is an overview of my sound integration into Unity's 3D game kit with Audio Kinetics Wise. My goal for this project was to plan, create, and integrate sounds using built in tools from Wise and scripting elements that would improve the player experience. A disclaimer I am not a programmer and have used this opportunity to pick up some basic skills in C Sharp that would allow me to achieve my goal. I broke the project down into the following sections. I intended to use all of the tools available from the WISE API, including RTPCs, states, AK events, and triggers. If those limited my intention, I would look to create custom scripts. Since this project only had three characters, I chose to create custom sounds for all three using unique animation events for every movement and action. The main character's footsteps on stone, grass, and mud were controlled by AK switch triggered by an animation event. I used a script which had a raycast check the layer that the player was standing on and change the switch accordingly. I added sounds of cloth movement to a blend container along with the footstep sounds to add more realism to Ellen's movement. The main character had four different attacks. Each attack event was created using a combination of two components. The first being a random container with five vocal grunts. The second was a sound of the staff being swung. The same process was used in the remaining combo attacks. For the purpose of this showcase, I will be covering two of the most complex character interaction objects in the game. The pressure plate and the staff pickup. They both have an idle sound playing on start, an interaction sound that plays once the character comes into contact with them, and the third action that stops the idle loop. To handle this, I have decided to create a system in the form of a script. I created a few public strings that were part of functions meant for AK events. I also created a few public strings to allow me to attach custom audio emitters. This allowed me to type in the AK events into the inspector and add the functions to an existing interact on trigger script. I will be focusing on three ambient areas in this scene. The sound of the swamp is comprised of four random containers and two loops that trigger sounds at random and provide a good soundscape for the player. I approach the integration of the swamp that the player encounters in the first few minutes of gameplay by creating a spline with multiple spline points, which followed the player and had an AK event in the script. This ensured the sound of the swamp would always be heard so long as the attenuation distance was set up correctly. This system allowed for potential use in another scenario instead of relying on the large mode positioning of AK ambient. The open world ambience is comprised of a wind loop and a few random containers which have modified sounds of leaves and frog calls. The ambient area is triggered by a custom script that makes use of an ignore area. The script looks for a box collider and checks if the player is inside. If the player is inside, the emitter component of the script is activated. The emitter constantly follows the player around. This allows for flawless playback of an AK event that is part of the emitter component. The script then constantly checks if the player has entered another area, called an ignore area, which is located inside the main box collider. In this case, the ignore area is the open cavern. As soon as the player enters an ignore area, a custom RTPC slew rate tied to a custom attenuation curve ensures a smooth transition out of the first ambience into the second one. I added a reverb zone along with a state change to the large doorway present in the scene using AK Room, AK State, AK Trigger Enter, and AK Trigger Exit. There are two enemy types in this scene. The first is a chomper which appears in groups and have idle, spotted, chase, and attack animations. The second creature is a boss called the Grenadier, who has similar animations. The Chomper's movement was created by linking the created audio to animation events. 
However, instead of writing up a long script of all the animation events to be triggered, I have used a short script that allowed me to enter the wise event names into the string field of the animation event. Since the chompers had an interesting idle animation, I dedicated some extra time to the sound so that it reflected the visuals. I wanted the chompers to be heard before they spot the player, so I added a custom attenuation curve. The integration of the sound for the grenadier was done in a similar manner to the chomper. As an added feature of the level's boss, I have added an RTPC controlled damaged sound, which let the player know the approximate health of the grenadier. With every hit from the player, the low pass filter would reduce and allow more and more of the original sound through. Most of the elements showcased in this reel could have been done using built-in tools. However, my intention was to challenge myself to pick up new skills, achieve flexibility in modifying audio assets, and develop systems that could be used in other projects. Thanks for watching.